in a past life, you were held more accountable than you ever could have. Probably a version of your own innocence completely gone. Because it's this parentified person that comes into life with a North Node in Pisces. And this journey that they're on where they have had this parentified past life and they've had to hold themselves so much more accountable than they should have, they come into this life with a sense of relief when they finally walk through their North Node in Pisces. It's this idea that they don't have to be held accountable as much as they were before and so they seemingly are able to be chameleons and dissipate and are not necessarily caught and there can be lies there can be deception but this is all a part of the journey of a person who has a north node in pisces because What everyone can't see is that something happened to you where you had to grow up really, really fast and you had to serve and and you may have battled big time with the North Node in Pisces, what it really means to prostitute yourself. I have a, a video on this specifically, just a whole video on this idea of prostitution, but it was inspired by this lady um, who talked about prostitution not being just about sex, it being about anything that requires you to take action and do something for someone, right, in exchange for something, even if you didn't want to do it. Prostitution is saying yes, when you really want to say no, uh, is how she described it. And this is a perfect communicative understanding for someone who has a North Node in Pisces because this is a big part of why you have the glory when you are more deceptive, how you have the glory when you're more behind the scenes Um, and you're here to understand your own mischievousness as almost like a rebellion against this level of self-betrayal that you had to do because you were too young to even realize what you were doing. In a past life, you may have spent your whole life working and not getting paid well enough for it or being being a servant, being a slave and having this air of someone who was more, uh, you know, rich, more wealthier than you and experiencing the snootiness of that and and you came into this life as well trying to understand the difference between a servant and a slave and why is it that some of us are servants and slaves and why some of us are the ones who are served so this destiny is for you to unlock your past life to understand your past life so that you can embrace this mystery, this deceptive part of your nature, not with pride, but because it's a gift to you from what you went through. So to some degree, you have a natural ability to appear with a level of perfection, even though people can see that you're flawed. You have this gift where other people would be hated on, you won't be, even though you clearly are flawed too. But it's just that you already went through the lashings. You already went through the slavery. So you're the prince, the Cinderella, the princess who was in dirty garments, the prince who was a pauper, you know, anything that is a rags to riches story can happen here with the North Node in Pisces. What's really interesting is that Pisces is a sign that can lead a lot of people to poverty, 
right? But when you have the North Node in Pisces, I, I personally feel like you're less likely to fall into poverty. If you do, it's just to spiritually learn to disconnect from reality because maybe you're holding on to Virgo energy so much and that practicality and that earthiness and that fear of, of losing your security. And so if you find that that's what your journey is, then yeah, you could end up losing everything just so the North Node teaches you detachment. But I feel like the masters of this North Node in Pisces can be some of the top billionaires the or at least just live a way better life because you do understand hard work. You're not not working. It's like you're actually making up rest time for the times that you worked in a past life. So you definitely understand hard work and anyone who tries to keep that from you or hold that over your head that you're lazy, like please brush them off because the biggest thing you need is to learn how to rest and restore. And this level of perfection that you have um, from your masterfied, you know, masterful past life of being perfect with that Virgo South Node right? You are here to challenge perfection now and allow perfection to erode off of you, which is weird because as a North Node in Pisces, you may only just seem to be even more lovable, even though you're taking more perfect layers, you know, all those projections that people put on you to be perfect. You're like, taking it off, taking it off, taking it off. And they still just love you for you. And so the experience of a North Node in Pisces when you're really in the pocket is that unconditional love and you get to experience that in this life. So if you're not in your North Node, it's probably because you have not allowed yourself to erode the perfection, erode the perfection projections that people put on you and that you even put on yourself. Because when it all comes down to it and you're compared to the other, you're still going to end up looking a little bit more favorable. I don't know. It's just something about having the North Node of Destiny in the final zodiac sign where it's like no one can touch you. You're so unreachable because you're kind of out with the ethers. And yet at the same time, you have a connection to your humanity more than your counterpart. You typically will have a counterpart and your counterpart will feel less connected to humanity where you will because it's it's because you have experienced the different reigns of hierarchy in, in hum humanity. And in this life, you're just experiencing the end and whatever the end is for you, you get to decide, you get to choose your ending. That's really cool too. You're thwarted out of perfection if you don't understand this. And you'll be faced with criticisms upon criticisms just so you can learn how to detach and step into your Pisces North Node. If you'd like to tap more into your North Node, check out the worksheets that I have down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.